VidBlaster X version 5 contains a lot of new features, many of them behind the scenes. But one very visible change is the new effects bus that takes the place of the effects and overlay modules of older versions. This video, created in an early alpha version, will show the basic features of the effects bus. We create a bus by adding a switcher module from the menu. Any bus takes a number of sources that can be any type of source module. In this case, I will use two still stores and two players. The order of the video sources in the bus is important. The bus will always work from the left, so we start with our background. I turn it on and it becomes visible as the output of the bus. Next, I want the video to fit in the blue rectangle. I turn it on and then select the settings to be able to scale and position it correctly. I can change either by typing into the numbers or by actually grabbing hold of the, of the uh, label and change the size. I can of course type in a specific number as I want to. When I positioned it correctly, I can close the scale window. We next position the next one. This one is a little large, again, using the settings. I can scale it down and drag it into the position I want to have it. When I have the numbers the way I want them, I can close that window again. Now we can see that the order of the volumes becomes important. Right now, the second video is on top of the first one. By dragging and changing the order, it ends up behind it. So I can select the type of version I want here. Finally, we can turn on a simple overlay on top of this. I drag it into position and turn it on. The output of this can now be used for any video source, for example for a streamer, recorder or to another bus.